Go. Oh, was this London? Oh no. Damn, what is that? More pond moves. Look at this young carpool. Look at that boy, Brian. No oh, man. It's a battle of the hats, man. It is. He used to have one like that until he got good.
Claymation. It was like the, god, the cool. gods were like using the men to have. No, wait, that's Jason and the Argonauts. The, yeah. Wait, Jason and the Argonauts was like. Yeah, that. but Clash of the Titans is like the same thing. Almost same thing. Clash of the Titans is almost the same thing as any other movie that's been played for years. That's all. There's plenty out now. Good game though, Carl. Yeah, I mean, you're good better off the whole game. game. It's a good game. Nice game. You play not to uh, win, but to avoid losing. I could have taken it before. No, you, as the game progressed, this became more and more glaring. This was risky to put it here because you got to get off later. Hey guys, Brent here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and. Let's go over it and see what we can learn. And I think chess psychology came into play in this game because I don't know if you guys saw, but Carl had a had a tactic here that could have um, won the game if he saw it and played carefully. And here in this position, um, let's let's go over it. So knight in, knight in, and rook up. Bishop takes, and e takes. And in the game, Mark is targeting the. Um, h5 pawn and Carl defends, but if you want to go move back, pause the video. What do you see for black here? Alright, so whenever you're getting attacked, uh, another option is to counterattack, and there is this bishop d4 move, and this knight is pinned, and notice how it cannot be defended. There is no dark square bishop. The knight is um, nowhere else to defend. This pawn is blocking the rook from advancing, so this knight is basically toast here and the computer actually recommends just giving up the uh, the exchange, giving up the rook for the bishop and playing on from there so this would have been the continuation and yeah that was it I because all of this makes me think like going back here I think nine times out of ten if Carl is playing somebody else that he knows is not a master he probably would have seen this move you know 
but since he was playing uh, Mark, maybe maybe that knowledge kind of influenced him to play g6 and to hold on to the pawn. So I don't know, just a theory, but mm, just one thought that come to my that came to mind. And yeah, I mean, Carl is kind of that's that's his whole game is to kind of find find exploit that weakness and then just um, grind you down. That's kind of how he plays. So. If he saw this game, I mean, if he saw this tactic and, you know, computer has black at around negative three, so, um, yeah, it would have been really interesting to see how Carl would have closed out the game. You never know what might happen. Maybe Mark might come back and Carl might make a mistake, but definitely like Carl's chances here. But, yeah, I mean, oof. psychology is very, very interesting. Um and that was about it. The rest of the game was kind of, you know, deadlocked and it usually comes down to kind of one of those one moves. So, yep. It happens, man. Not everybody can see everything. Okay. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And thanks. See you guys later.